Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll demonstrate to you how you can apply a firmware version on your Alan Bradley Panel View Plus 7 performance. Essentially, there's two steps to getting it done. First of all, is to set up your IP address on your Panel View. And the second step would be to install the uh, ME Firmware Wizard uh, Loader. Let's get started. Well, the first step is to set up the IP address. In order to set up the IP address, you need to be on the terminal setting windows here. Once you get to the terminal setting windows, select Network Communications and hit Enter. Then you select Network Connections, Enter. Then you hit Network Adapter, Enter. And then you click on IP addresses. And once you select that, you go through and set up all your IP address, followed by subnet mask and followed by your gateway. Once that is done, you click OK. Setting a new IP address requires you to restart your panel view. So in order to restart, click close, 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 all the way back to your main terminal setting window and reset and click yes to restart. And the panel view will start restarting it. The second step is to install ME Firmware Upgrade Wizard. You, in order to update, uh, download test software, you need to go to ab.com. And then on the menu on the top right hand of the web page, the two bars there, three bars, click on uh, support. Then you click on product support. Click on download. Then you click on compatibility and downloads. And what it does is that it gives you a web page and click on find downloads. And on this fine downloads, you're looking for Panel View Plus 7 Performance. And the bottom portion of the menu will dynamically fill up. So we're doing upgrade on version 11. Click on it, hit download. Now, and then select this guy here. Now here, it shows as a PDF icon on the right. Uh, don't get fooled by this. It's actually a zip file. I'm not too sure why Rockwell does that. But anyway, click on a checkbox and then click on download and then download now. So essentially, there's two ways to download. One is manage download. The other one is direct download. Direct download is just using a browser to download. Manage downloads requires you to download an app from Rockwell. Okay, to make it simple for us, I'm gonna click on direct download, and then click on that hyperlink to download the exe file, or rather the zip file. The zip file is about 8.9 megabyte, depending on your bandwidth on your internet, it varies. So as soon as that is done, we'll navigate to the download folder or wherever the file was downloaded. And I'm gonna zip it on the same directory where I downloaded. Extract here. And then uh, next thing what you'll do is gonna, let me close this browser. What thing you'll do is that you're gonna have to install the exe file. And go through the steps, I guess, is just click Next. And uh, you know they'll ask you where you want to install it and all that stuff. You're pretty familiar with the Windows installer, right? So hit Next, Next. I'm just going to use default setting there. Once that is done, this window will close. Hit Finish. And I'm going to minimize this just to clear my window up. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to load, uh, sorry, launch the ME Firmware Upgrade Wizard. And then from there, you select uh, Upgrade Firmware on Terminal and click yes. And then next thing you want is a network connection uh, using factory top links. And then click next. And then you look for your devices here. Uh, I can see my device here, uh, the IP address what I set up just now, 192.168, that IP address ending with 223, and uh, it, is a, it is identified as panel view plus seven, so which is the correct device. But if you do not find your device here, right, what you can do is you can select, uh, you can you need to select your Ethernet ABET uh, HP dash, uh, IP dash one, like what I have on the top of the branch, and you right click and delete it. And what it does is that this RS links automatically refreshes it. And if you do have it, it will uh, get populated. That's one way to do it. If you still don't have it after deleting that branch, what you can do is you can right click and configure device and add your IP address off your panel view and all that stuff. Um, and there's also an option for you to add device. If you right click on, for, 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 for example, on my RS view here, right click on Ethernet ABETHIP-1, right click on it, and they'll give you an opportunity to add devices there. 
So once that is done, click on next. And then uh, it gives you an option to select your version of your firmware that you want to upload. You can actually click on the pull down and see what other firmware we have. Since I've only downloaded version 11, you only see version 11 for this instance. And once that's done, click on next. And it gives you, gives you an option to download or apply patches to your CapOS server drivers. For mine, I don't have any drivers. These are all the drivers that you have. And click next. So it is telling you what you're going to do next. So click next, yes. So as you're running, you'll see that your panel view shows an update. And notice that the app version is currently 10. I'll let this uh, upgrade run for a few minutes here. And maybe fast forward, I guess, uh, using the internet's magic of fast forwarding. You will see on your panel view, if you notice it, your blue bar will start to move towards the right. It's actually a progress. And that should coincide sort of with your uh, uh, firmware upgrading wizard there. Once that is upgrade is done, what panel view does is, is power cycles by itself. And you'll go to auto tests, uh, you'll initialize, and you'll bring it back to your terminal settings. Note that your app version is now 11, so which means you you have successfully upgraded your firmware. I'm gonna wait for it to come up to my terminal setting windows here in the next few bit. Next, you'll start factory talk view ME station, which will bring you to the terminal settings window here. Well, I hope this uh, firmware upgrading tutorial helps. If it does, please thumbs up, give me a like, and please subscribe. You'll help my channel. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye.